So we've done DC, now we're going to go on to Marvel characters. And we're going to do Iron Man. We're going to take a little bit of white, plenty of water, and making a wash. You're not going to wash your face in, it's just a wash. <laughs> I call it a wash because it's very thin, very watery. So I've got a rough outline there. I am going to outline some of the detail on his mask. You know, this sort of yellowy gold. This is just so I get everything in the right place. The details in and the colour and everything. So it's quite faint, but I can see what's going on. And I can, it's giving me an idea of where everything is going to go. So I'm going to use some yellow first of all. While that dries a bit, I'm going to start putting the red on. Again, mixing a little bit of water. I would definitely say that the characters that wear masks are a little bit easier to paint than the ones that have just got the face on the show. Just going to do his shoulder here. I can start to add some shaded sections in here with this darker red that we've mixed. I didn't want to just use pure gold because it wouldn't have been opaque enough to do what I want to do. So that's why I did the yellow first. So with the black, water it down. I'm going to start to add some detail. Marking out where the eyes are very lightly. Right, we can start to add some highlight into here now. I'm going to do his eyes first. Top and base. And that's really going to bring out that gold and make it look more like it's in metal. I'm going to pop that into the lamp and cure that. So let's get sketching this out with the white wash. Try to get the positioning right. It's going to map out the A. So I'm going to use blue. So I've mixed a mid blue. So I'm going to start doing his mask. going to use the dark blue now to just add a little bit of definition so this is the blue just as it comes straight out the tube I 
And we're going to use some of the um, flesh tint for oh, his face and around his eyes here. So I'm just using a watered down black now to add even more depth to this design. I'm going to put the second coat of the flash colour on. Now we need to do some shading on the face and his bottom part of his face. So with the black wash, I'm just going to add some details to his face now, to his part of the face that we can see anyway. To his nose. And his mouth. Right, we need to highlight with a white wash, then to water into your white paint. is I'm going to bring this design so I'm just going to wait for that this to dry so I'm just going to start on this one I'm just going to make the design flow more so I'm just going to do some American shears and manez and what do you think about that then we'll do a star and some stripes here do one big star I'm going to highlight um, the shield so it looks more realistic, so it's got more dimension to it. So we're going to seal them in top and base. Just going to finish those with a little bit of cuticle oil. Damn, that looks good. I'm well impressed. Oh, I've excelled myself again, haven't I?
<laughs> On to Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever Spider can. <laughs> so I'm going to map this out again. So we're going to put the red all over his face. Can you imagine if when they pull off the mask, he's like some really bossed guy? If you don't like bossed means bossed means ugly. You know when they all go for, they have a kiss, they do the upside down Spider-Man kiss thing and they go, oh no, Jack, put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> And we've got a bit of his body here. So I'm just going in with a second coat of the red now. I'm going to use the same blue that I mixed for Captain America. I'm going to put another coat of red on, but I have watered it down quite a bit. Just so it's really smooth. I want the application to be really smooth. So when I start to paint the detail, it'll give a better, softer finish. While that's drying, I'm gonna start to add a bit of detail to his leg that's coming up. Here, he's lifting his leg up. To the side of his arm that's shaded. I'm gonna start to shade around his face. Just so I know I've got a definite separation between his face and the body. I'm just going to highlight a little bit on his leg and that one. Just highlighting around the edge of his face there. It's going to make it pop out a little bit more. His eyes in there. And we need to go round his eyes with black. We need it to be really crisp lines. So to get it really crisp, you're going to water your paint down. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Sorry. <laughs> I can just see it all coming together so it gets me a bit excited. Slowly just starting to add some definition. So you can do all your shadowing, but don't do your highlighting. Like the main bulk of your highlighting needs to be done after you've done all the spider's webs because you'll need to highlight over the webs as the webs will just stand out way too much okay how shade his eyes as well actually a bit we can highlight his eyes we just want white paint pure white Can I do a little bit of this spider? Well, I'll probably get it all on actually. You can see how it's all coming together now. Let's focus. So I'm just doing the little tiny loops. And then highlight. So 
So I'll just put a dot there because that's the main source of the highlight. So it's going to come from there and work its way out. So I'm just going to work this highlight with the brush. I think I'm happy with that now. Let me just have a last check. I'll put a little bit of a shadow. I'm happy with that now. I'm going to seal that. Sealing it with the top and base. Look how gorgeous that pigment is in the background. It's so nice. Right, on to the next one. What we're going to do here is we're going to carry the design on. So we're going to do a little bit of Spider-Man's web and a little spider. The logo. Yeah, the logo. So we've got a bit of a web there. Just makes that stand out a little bit more, the shadow does. And then we're going to do the Spider Man logo, which is the black spider. Right, so we're going to seal that with top and base on the tiniest finger I've ever worked on. With some gel resolution. Not gel resolution. <laughs> you just gel made resolution. You just created a new Gel product. residue wipe off solution. Resolution! So that's the end of part two of the battle of DC versus Marvel. Who do you think won? I think DC. What do you think? Marvel. Marvel? Yeah. You Marvel all the way? Well, if you said Marvel, I would say DC. All right, okay. Oh, just to, <laughs> just to, okay. Anyway, so. If you want to see the products that were used in the video, don't forget to have a little look at the description. And don't forget to add us on Facebook and Instagram. And like, 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 share, share, share. See you next time. Spider-Man.